Hello guys and welcome back to Jaegerists. In today's video, we'll be going through the story of Flock Forrester, the Demon's Assistant. During the feast before the expedition to Shiganshiman District, Flock rhetorically asks Jean Kirstein if 104th recruits and former garrison members such as himself and his friend are that unreliable. When Jean asks why he and his friends joined the Survey Corps, Flock says the increased propaganda for the Survey Corps after the uprising is what drew them in. He notes how much the 104th soldiers have changed since they had graduated. During the operation to retake Shiganshina district, Flock and the rest of the recruits enter Shiganshina on foot while the rest of the soldiers use their vertical maneuvering equipment to make their way to the top of the wall. They're ambushed by the beast Titan, who appears with an army of Titans and throws a boulder into the side of Wall Maria, causing a collapse that blocks the Survey Corps' entrance to Shiganshina, leaving Flock and the other soldiers unable to enter with their horses. Flock and his squad mates are left in charge of the Corps' horses and are ordered to defend them from an approaching Titans. The Beast Titan begins to target his throws at the soldiers themselves, and Levi orders the recruits to take the horses closer to the wall, where they can use boulders for cover. Flock begins to panic and Levi has to force him along the base of the wall. Marlo scolds him for letting some of their horses run away in the attack, but Flock hysterically retorts that there's no point to watching the horses since they will all soon die. Recalling the ceremony where he decided to join the Survey Corps, Flock laments that he's going to die a meaningless death rather than bravely sacrifice himself for humanity. When Erwin Smith gives his plans of a suicide charge against the Beast Titan to the recruits, Flock protests that they have no reason to participate in a charge since they will die either way. Despite his protests, Flock and his comrades are won over by Erwin's urging that they fight for the good of humanity so that the living can give meaning to their deaths. During the charge, Flock is knocked off of his horse but miraculously managed to survive. Shocked by his survival, Flock begins to wander the battlefield searching for anyone else who may have survived. After finding Erwin wounded and bleeding on the battlefield, Flock treats the commander's wounds as best he can before pursuing Captain Levi. As Levi prepares to give Aaron Jaeger the Titan injection needed to heal Armin Arlert, he arrives with Erwin hanging unconscious on his back. While the others begin to argue over who should receive the serum, Flock gives his opinion that Erwin should be the one to receive the serum as only a demon like Erwin can overcome the Titans. Aaron tries to dissuade Levi from giving Erwin the serum, but Flock forcibly restrains him to stop him from interfering. Levi orders that he be left alone to inject Erwin, and Flock forcibly moves Aaron to another house rooftop. After Armin is given the serum instead of Erwin, Flock is left dismayed and asks Levi why he chose Armin over Erwin. On top of Shiganshina District's wall, Flock keeps watch and observes the surrounding area as Eren informs Armin about the events which ensued from the battle. As the remaining members of the Survey Corps prepare for a ceremony in their honor, they're approached by Hitch, who has come to watch the ceremony. Jean assures her that Marlo acted bravely on their mission and asks Flock to recount the events to her. Although Flock praises Marlo for staying calm and encouraging his fellow recruits, he admits that Marlo likely regretted his actions in his final moments. As Hitch leaves, an appalled Jean demands to know why Flock said such a thing to Hitch, and Flock tells him that someone should be honest about what happened. Armin admits that he knows Flock wanted Erwin to live, and Flock claims that everyone who has read the Corps' report believes Erwin should have lived. Aaron tries to defend Armin, but Flock accuses him of acting childishly and allowing his personal feelings to keep him from making a rational choice. Jean and Connie intervene before things can escalate further, but Flock reprimands them as well, pointing out that they made no effort to stop Aaron and Mikasa. Flock closes by demanding that they inform any future recruits of what they are truly signing up for, so that no more cowards like him join. With the arrival of the anti-Marlian volunteers, Flock brings Yelena and Eren in contact so she could explain Zeke's true motives to euthanize the Eldian race. Sometime after the meeting with Yelena, Eren meets with Flock privately and states that he is going to follow Zeke in appearance only, asking him to do the same. Flock questions Eren about his true intentions, and Eren reveals that he will use the Founding Titan's power to bring ruin to the world. 
Flock agrees with Eren and begins gathering allies, forming a secret faction that would later be known as the Jaegerists. Approximately nine months later, Flock joins the Survey Corps at the raid on Liberio, where he sets explosives to destroy buildings around the intermittent zone. Jean yells at him to minimize civilian casualties, but Flock is unrepentant. He tells Jean of all of the people inside the walls who were killed by the people outside of it. When Jean argues with him, Flock points to Aaron and reminds Jean that Aaron told them to fight rather than wait within the walls for death to find them, declaring that Aaron is the devil that they need. Sometime after, Flock is forced to take cover from the Beast Titan's bombardment. As the Survey Corps makes its retreat from Liberio, Flock leads the surviving soldiers in a celebration of their overwhelming victory against Marley. As they're celebrating, two children board the Corps' airship and open fire, killing Sasha Blaus. In response, Flock and his fellow soldiers attack the children, savagely apprehending and disarming them. Flock asks Jean if he should throw them out of the airship, but is denied. Unhappy with Aaron's arrest following their return to Parody, Flock and several other Survey Corps recruits leak news of Aaron's confinement to the public, which puts pressure on Hanji to release him. They're quickly discovered and are called before Hanji to explain themselves. Flock argues that Aaron was justified in his actions and that his actions have saved the lives of the citizens of Parody. Hanji points out that Aaron's actions have only demonized them to the rest of the world but Flock insists that they have nothing to worry about as long as Eren has the power of the Founding Titan. Rather than freeing Eren, Hanji concludes the hearings by arresting Flock and his compatriots. Flock and his companions are quickly freed by other members of the military who've sided with Eren, and the group makes a plan to meet up with Eren outside of the city. After Eren escapes his cell and arrives, Flock informs him of their numbers along with their involvement in Zackley's assassination. Flock claims only Aaron can save the Eldian Empire and Aaron tells the group he will locate Zeke. After being informed of Hanji's location by a sympathetic employee, Flock joins the other Jaegerists in raiding a restaurant. The faction threatens Hanji and their subordinates with firearms and Flock demands that they take them to Zeke's location. In Hanji's query, he reveals to them that Aaron refuses to negotiate with the military. Hanji tries to reason with Flock, arguing that they do not have time to be infighting while Zeke is making his own moves, but their words fall on deaf ears and Flock orders that they be restrained. Hanji deduces that Flock was aware of the spinal fluid scheme, but Flock refuses to give an answer, only ordering Hanji to remain quiet. When the captives are directed out, Flock taps on the door to inform Eren that they are leaving. Arriving in Shiganshina, Flock immediately leads the Jaegerists to the division of the training corps operating out of the district. He and the Jaegerists inform instructor Keith Shaddis and the recruits that the Jaegerists will now be operating out of the training corps base, shooting off a warning shot when Keith attempts to resist. Flock invites all of the assembled recruits to join the Jaegerists and abandon all of their old customs from before they learned of the outside world. As recruits begin to join him, Flock informs them that they will have to prove their loyalty by beating Keith and that anyone who doesn't will be thrown in jail. After the recruits have finished beating Keith, Flock orders Hanji to take him to Zeke. Flock and the Jaegerists with him learn that Zeke is in the custody of Levi and 30 members of the Survey Corps still loyal to the military. En route to their location, Flock hears a sound resembling thunder near the edge of the forest. They go to investigate and find a completely destroyed wagon along with an injured soldier lying on their bank of the river. Flock expresses his initial worry about Levi being a problem, but is pleased to see he will not be a concern due to his injuries after hearing Hanji claim that Levi is dead. Flock is not fully convinced and orders Hanji to move so he can check for a pulse. However, before he can, he and the other soldiers are suddenly distracted by the sight of Zeke emerging from inside a decomposing Titan. This gives Hanji the opportunity to flee with Levi's body, catching Flock off guard while other Jaegerists leave to pursue them. Flock then tries to get Zeke to explain what happened, but Zeke brushes him off, claiming that they need to move on. Flock and his soldiers arrive with Zeke at Shiganshina to find it under attack by Marley's forces. While Zeke pummels Marley's titans with rocks from atop the wall, Flock takes his group to kill the car titan and keep it from using its artillery to hurt Zeke. 
They seemingly manage to take the Titan down, but are caught off guard when Marley and soldiers appear from the Card Titan's corpse and begin firing on them, forcing them to retreat. Flock and his soldiers continue to attack the Card Titan, but are quickly repelled with everyone except for Flock being killed. As Flock confronts the worsening situation, Aaron makes contact with Zeke and starts the rumbling as Flock watches the wall begin to crumble beneath him. After all of Zeke's pure Titans are killed, he meets with the survivors at the headquarters. He talks with Jean, expressing that he could not die during the moment of the Eldian Empire's return. Flock then points his gun at Yelena and demands her to gather the anti-Marleyan volunteers so they can be detained. One of the volunteers tries resisting and Flock wounds the man by shooting him in the hand. Flock informs the volunteers that he's known about Aaron's plan to unlock the founding Titan for 10 months. He acknowledges that the volunteers' respective homelands will indeed be destroyed by Aaron's plan and offers to grant them status as honorary Eldians in the new empire Aaron will create if they agree to cooperate. The injured volunteer continues to belittle Flock, who responds by nonchalantly executing him. As the volunteers are led away, Flock claims to Jean and Mikasa that as Aaron's representative, he's trying to wipe out any resentment in parody. In an attempt to gain Jean's support, Flock makes an appeal to Jean's old desire to live a comfortable life as an MP. Mikasa demands to know what happened to Levi and Hanji, and Flock claims that Zeke killed them. In the following days, Onyan Kampon and Yelena continue to resist Flock's invitation to join the Jaegerists as honorary Eldians, so he decides to have them publicly executed. Flock and Jean brings the two volunteers before the Jaegerists, and Flock announces their execution explaining that Yelena conspired with Zeke to destroy the Eldians and that Onyankapon had chosen death over joining Jaegerists. Jean fires four shots at Onyankapon and misses all of them, and to Flock's shock, the Cart Titan suddenly attacks eating Jean, Onyankapon, and Yelena. Flock takes a group of Jaegerists to Paradis Harbor to confront the Azumabito clan and force their mechanics to cooperate with them. After executing three of Kiyomi's companions, he gloats about Eren's impending success and cheerfully reminds them that Hizuru will also be wiped out. He attempts to coerce her into agreeing to help the Jaegerists, but Kiyomi only reminds him that the Eldians will keep killing each other even after the outside world is destroyed. Flock disregards her warning and threatens to kill her, admitting that he's willing to sacrifice Paradis' technological advancement to eliminate potential enemies. He's interrupted by Connie and Armin arriving at the harbor, explaining that they need the Azumabito mechanics to pilot their airship so that they can pursue the Car Titan. Suspecting that the two are lying, Flock decides to execute the Azumabito mechanics to keep them from posing a threat in the future. However, he's caught off guard and disarmed by Kiyomi. Before Flock's comrades can help him, Mikasa bursts into the building and incapacitates them as well. With no one to help, Flock flees the building and announces to the rest of the Jaegerists that they are under attack. As the Jaegerists attack, Flock becomes uneasy that Mikasa and the Azumabito have fled to the basement. As the armored and female titans transform, Flock realizes that they have been led into a trap and turns his attention to fighting off the titans. During the battle, the Azumabitos attempt to reach the boat and Flock, realizing that they intend to take the boat, frantically orders his soldiers to target them. When the Card Titan appears, Flock tries to target her himself, but is caught off guard by the emergence of the Jaw Titan. While his soldiers are killed, Flock manages to escape the Jaw Titan and targets the boat, attempting to sink it with the Thunder Spear, while saying that he will be the savior of Eldia. However, as he's firing, he is shot by Gabby Braun, throwing off his aim and causing him to plummet injured into the ocean. Despite his injuries, Flock manages to attach his maneuvering gear's anchors to the boat and follows the group across the ocean to Odiha. Badly injured, Flock is able to drag himself into the hangar where the Azumabito mechanics are preparing the flying boat for takeoff and begins firing on them. He manages to hit the boat's fuel tank, but Mikasa quickly fires one of her anchors into his throat. As the mechanics attempt to fix the boat, Flock uses his last breath to beg Hanji and Jean to stop pursuing Eren, citing that his rumbling, though immoral, was Paradis' only hope for survival. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, it really means a lot to us. 
We'll see you guys very soon in one of our next videos.